came here this afternoon to document the way they start preparing the food to the street. No So, Obaya, my media started this rice almost about 25 years ago, and she's still kicking. She is still leading. She is the she is the only one which ever evening you see people queuing here in Rex. Sunyani, I, I say I can say the main joint that you can find any street food is. Obaya, the special one, um, Yamu, is Yamu, the special rice that you can get is Yamu, which, which use natural ingredients, no Maggi, and that is the most interesting in it, so Maggi sometimes give a lot of um, problems to heart and other, but she don't use Maggi, and also use leaves to sell it, that makes her unique in this particular business or in this street food. So you see, she used special ginger, onion and the pepper. They mix it together so it makes the food very delicious. Even if they are frying uh, um, the meat, before they fry it, they will boil it with all those ingredients before they start cooking and and shrimps as well and among cock so among cock is also in which that makes the food very delicious special one i mean Sunyana, you cannot go wrong of passing to rex she start she will start in a day like five o'clock in the evening before nine o'clock is gone if you don't come early boom you won't get anything to eat. I've been here a couple of times and when I got there, 
the phone is finished. The last time I was even fighting for the Kenzo. You see, I'm on Arsenal and I'm not here to say a battle because it's the only joint you can get. There's a lot of rice on the street, but Yamu, Ya rice, Yamu is the special one you can get. I'm here with Efia, Efia Penny. She's the main also brain behind the selling. She goes out to sell the rice. And ever even most of the time if I go there, she's the one I meet. And I'm going to ask you, Efia, how many people do you think you serve them in a day? With that two, three hours that you say, I think it's from five o'clock to around nine, nine thirty. With that few people, how many uh, um, people do you serve? Roughly. So you don't need to know all about roughly. More than, one. More than 150 people. So around 200 bachelors, married men, and uh, everyone. Uh -huh, everyone. Kids, adults, I mean workers, whoever. About more than 150 in, in the evening. Just a few hours. Not the whole evening. It's just 5 o'clock to around 9. If you come after 9, you won't get any rice to eat. No yard rice for you. If you come and she say she's not going to serve you, you are in trouble. She's the only one who can serve you. And she serves about 150 to 200 people a night. So it's a hard work. She will stand on her feet for that about three to four hours on her feet without moving. So you guys have to know that it's a hard work. And so... My sister. Sometimes, even if it's raining, the last time I came, it was raining. When it's raining, what do you do? You can speak K, you can speak any any language. So within this rainy season, even uh, uh, the last time I came there was raining, I was standing in with you guys. People were standing in. What do you want to tell the government? What should they do? A deben and crabbing over two of them was say, is any of my kind of being also back on actual woman. So because I know I'm also here there. How many years now? How many years have you been selling, helping your mom? How many years? It's about a year that you came to help your mom, but you, I can see that you, you, you work very hard and the way you set, it's different. I mean, um, you're very fast, you and your sister, uh, if you are number two, yeah, which is not, yeah, I'll get in there if you do. So, you should try. You should try. So that means the customers themselves will stand in the rain to buy just like the way it happened the last time when I saw it. So, so what do you want to tell the government? Or oh, municipal here? There are some other cultural. Can we reach from? Yeah. Say, so I say, almost the Okay. So, okay. so if you are saying that the municipal the authority should allow them to sell the rice there, they wouldn't leave the table there. Every evening or in the night after selling, they would take the tables away. And in the evening again, they will bring it. So please, the authority, this rice serve a lot of people. And you, authority, you are all in. You came here, you come here and buy something. And the, on the street, that the paveway that you are talking about, the people who walk on the paveway are the same people who eat the rice. Thank you very much and I will see you in the evening.
It's natural and you know, it's healthy as well. So if you come to Siyane and you want natural and healthy rice to eat, come to Yas Kwana. Every day, every you cannot go wrong by eating yamu. We are a crown, we put the yamu. Now I am strong. Now I am strong because I know what you know. And you drop. And you drop. Now, okay. So, who transport the rice from here to the to the to the table on the street? Okay. Sometimes it's always uh, if I do not send. It. One guy is called boss. Boss, okay. He always sells. So either you or a boss. boss. Yes. And who go to the market to make shopping for the whole thing? I and my mother. The ingredients. Yeah, it's, it's you and, and your mom go to the market. So do you go? Do you go to market every day? No, we normally go to market on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you go to market Tuesday and Wednesday. So today, when, today is Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday, Tuesday and Friday. So you went yesterday and you are waiting to Friday and you go to the next one. Yeah, I didn't ask your name. Your name? Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah. I love you so much, Cynthia. Thank you very much. You are helping the people outside there to feed in the bachelors, mostly the bachelors. So, thank you. I'm still in Rex from the rice, from Yamo, you go to Kelewole. And you know, if you have your rice and you get some Kelewole, add it on it. And the Kelewole is called Amma Kelewole. When you add some bit of kelole into the rice you are gone for the night you know and when you finish eating this food you will sleep peacefully in your bed from there you go to Bayra Yachie Yam Bayra Yachie and from there you go to Bayra and you see the woman is also frying her yams if you don't eat rice come and eat yams and you can add some of the yams also on top of the rice then when you finish fruits when you finish you go to the fruits fruits you see when you finish there's fruits here you know after eating fruit is the next thing if you want to live healthy there's apple there's pineapple here there's banana and there's watermelon. And what's your name, ma'am? What is your name? Your brother said, a fierce sister, fierce fruit around the corner. Beside Yamu, Kele, Amakalewone, and fruit. And there's a yam seller. Yam seller, also. Sister Yas. Sister Yas. Uh, yams, uh, fried yams, also at the back. There's another fruit also lady also around the panel. You can see that she has um, I can see that she has some of the watermelon on top with uh, avocados and something like this on top. So all is around here. So when you come to Rex, you won't go wrong. Anything that you want in the night, you will get it here. Guys, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to press the notification bell. If you want to see your youngest old boys face again, I'm around all the time. Thank you. Oh, I love you. Keep watching Kavina TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.